Your relationship with yourself sets the tone for how healthy you will be and how well you relate with others. And we've previously looked at two ways to boost your self-esteem in this video, which I will link in for you to watch later. But today, let's look at 10 elaborate steps to a healthier self-esteem. Number one, know who you are. Yes, get to know yourself and keep learning about who you really are and what really makes you you. Having a healthy self-esteem means accepting and also learning to appreciate yourself for who you are. Getting to know who you are in building a healthy self-esteem means that you trust yourself, okay, that you really trust yourself. You trust who you are becoming and who you are right now. You create a kind of self that you will be happy to keep growing and investing in all your life. A you that holds strength and confidence. Yes, a healthy amount of self-confidence, as we mentioned in this video, is needed in getting to know who you are better. Also, getting to know who you are means that you respect yourself. You connect with your intuition and you're able to digest anything that helps you and also dig out the fact that you have within you all you really need to deal with whatever life may throw at you because you're fortified, you're fortifying yourself. You have a well of untapped inner courage and strength which you're building up whenever you invest in self-improvement, personal development, whenever you absorb inspirational content whenever you prioritize what gets into your mind and your spirit soul and body wholesome content content that you know makes you improve your well-being all around yes number two find out what makes you feel good having a healthy self-esteem means that you mostly feel good about yourself and that you know what makes you feel good and make it an enjoyable experience to keep learning about what makes you feel good. This means you appreciate your own self-worth enough, as we see in this video, to find out what causes a good feeling and a good sense of self within you. Also, you make it a priority to listen to your gut, your heart, your intuition. And I'll link in all the helpful videos, okay? So you listen as you involve yourself in activities, physically, emotionally, mentally, that improve who you are and who you want to be. You make it a habit, essentially. Mm -hmm. For instance, not to judge yourself based on what others may think of you, but on what you think of you based on the level of growth you are you know, attaining. You are responsible for the amount of self-esteem you attain as an adult, because if you put in the work to invest in what makes you come alive, in what brings you out, the best in you is all you'll find, okay? And you'll see results, okay? You'll feel good about your own growth from the way you respond, okay? You start to see an evolving, okay? A change as you grow up mentally, irrespective of how old you are as an adult, really. Okay, when you know what makes you feel good, age will just be a number, because your self-esteem can be higher and healthier than others, okay? Okay, even though um, they may expect you not to have so much maturity because they're older than you, but your self-esteem may be higher than even those that are older than you. If you put in the work, okay, like I've said before, the outcome will be evident mostly. And firstly, to you, no matter your age or stage in life. Number three, find out what makes you feel bad. If you're looking to have a healthier self-esteem, then you have to be able to identify the things that make you feel bad about yourself and eliminate the ones that need elimination, like negative self-talk, while improving on the ones that need improving, like your level of self-awareness. If you need help with knowing more about self-awareness, check out this video later. Having a healthy amount of self-awareness will definitely help you identify and find out what makes you sad, 
or what is not very suitable to you. And you can begin to identify things that do not improve you in any way or things that are not helping you to build a healthy self-esteem. They are all linked together. Your ability to be aware of how you're feeling and what does not resonate with you comes with a high level of self-awareness. Okay? So yeah, it's not comfortable finding out what makes you feel bad, but it's important. You're able to realize this. Okay, this is what works for me. This is what doesn't work for me. This habit is not making me feel better and so on. And you can stop. Okay, put an end to those things, those many things, as many of them as possible that make you feel bad, that make you feel down, and make you feel, you know, like you're not enough. Okay, anything that hasn't been helping you feel good or better about yourself. Okay, so that you can connect with the best version of yourself. So yes, finding out what makes you feel bad, no matter how uncomfortable it might be, and letting go of it will definitely help you grow a healthier and a higher self-esteem. Number four, define your goals. When you define your goals, you commit yourself to a certain level of goal orientation and healthy targets that will move you to a healthier you, equally improving your self-esteem. Goal setting makes you grow intellectually and mentally and so it is a necessity for becoming a version of you that you actually like. Yes, one of the cool things defining your goals will help you achieve is to eliminate self-doubt from your life one day at a time. And when you have very low or zero self-doubt in your ability to make your goals work, you will be on the right track to improving your self-esteem. There's this quote I love that says, always act like you are wearing an invisible crown. It doesn't mean you should act like you're stuck up. It means that you should act in a way that demands more from yourself, more refined behavior, more connecting with the fact that you are royalty because you have an awesome creator. Yes, I feel like we have been manufactured by the greatest manufacturer, so to say. And as Miriam Williamson rightly said, you are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Yeah, very life-giving and self-esteem growing quote, which okay, leads us to our next point. Number five, make healthy friendships. People who are fond of attacking you or attacking your confidence and self-esteem are quite aware of your potential even if you're not aware of it so it is very important that you make healthy friendships if you want to grow your self-esteem if you are able to boost each other up in friendships as i mentioned in this video okay unhealthy friendships your self-esteem will grow this will also benefit your friends too okay as there is Solid evidence that the higher the level of self-esteem you have, the more likely you are able to treat others with respect, dignity, kindness, and generosity. So while you improve their lives, your friends will also aid in improving yours too, which guarantees a healthier self-esteem all around for everyone, okay, of you. If you have friends that berates you, that always attack your self-esteem, your self-confidence, they are always finding faults with you, it will deplete you, okay? You cannot grow your self-esteem in that kind of environment or with those kind of relationships. Healthy friends can help point out where you need to walk on without making you feel down, but by inspiring you to be a better version of yourself, 
it can challenge you to respect higher for yourself without putting you down. Also, the way you treat yourself sets the standard for others, so it will help you attract the right kinds of friendships. So yes, I will advise that you make it a priority to make friends with the right kinds of people if you want to grow your self-esteem to a healthier level all of your life. Number six, ask for help when you need it. Letting people help you when you need it can help you retain your strength and increase your energy and it greatly aids your self-esteem to be healthier. There are many things we cannot do all by ourselves and it only makes sense to learn to ask for help when it is absolutely necessary. Sometimes delegating helps you find the best in people too and this can give you a good feeling as you create good feelings in others. Also, learning to do teamwork when it is required and being a great team player greatly assists your self-esteem. It also helps you create a better sense of belonging which will boost your self-esteem a lot. The good thing again about being able to ask for help is that you are put in a position where you can express your needs without feeling inadequate. You are also able to accommodate the skills of others allowing the people around you to assist you in areas where they may be more competent or good in. You learn to embrace the abilities of others in a healthy way, which is good for your self-esteem. This will also help you learn to not compare yourself with other people constantly because you are confidently able to ask for assistance without feeling that you are not good enough. You have self-trust, self-confidence, and can enjoy other people's talents and skills. If you do not know much about something and you see someone who does and who can help you, knowing when to receive their help will greatly improve your self-esteem and it rubs off on them too. Number seven, uphold your values and beliefs. Having a low opinion of yourself is not being humble or being modest. It is self-destructing, okay, to your self-esteem. Holding your uniqueness in high regard is not having a big ego either. It is ne it's a necessary step for a better self-esteem and to a better life, okay, where you can continue to uphold your values and beliefs in life. The important thing is to find balance. You will begin to approve of yourself more, which is a good way to help your self-esteem. You will also get good at knowing when to enforce healthy boundaries as you relate with different people. And the more you learn to do that, the healthier your self-esteem becomes. Also, you can spend some time with yourself and think about the things you have accomplished and the things you're proud of. Give yourself some room to appreciate your work, your abilities and your talents without comparing yourself with others or without always focusing on where or what you need to improve on all the time. Cherish the things you do well first before trying to fix other areas of your life. You really do not need to always be better before you value yourself. Okay, you value every area, every point. Learn to value yourself to enable you get better to enable you to grow a healthier beliefs, okay? And those beliefs that you grow will improve how you see and how you feel about yourself, leading you to a healthier self-esteem. Number eight, help others when you can. Yes, like I've mentioned before in videos I will link in, even as you appreciate yourself, you can equally appreciate others and you will find out that it actually benefits you when you do so. And not just those who, okay, you are helping. When you help others, when you can help even people that cannot do anything for you, you are building a healthier self-esteem. It's a gift that keeps on giving. The ways you can do, okay, that is, for instance, visiting the sick people, um, volunteering to help people in need, okay, caring for the needy, 
given out stuff to charity and other kinds of you know beautiful kind acts that you are able to be a part of when you volunteer you freely give your time your resources whenever you can with no strings attached many times to people you may never meet again in your life you will not only enjoy it you will feel good about it you will feel great and your self esteem is sure to grow too yes indeed helping others when you can help okay it helps you because you feel like you're part of something bigger something greater than yourself and it's a good feeling it's a great way to connect with humanity people with high self esteem are really able to help other people because they respect people okay because they respect themselves too and the more you do this kind of act when you can the greater and healthier your self esteem can be yes help others when you can okay especially those that you may never see again those kind of help is powerful Number 9 be responsible for your life. When you take responsibility for your thoughts, your actions, the decisions you make, you will begin to see that you will create a better self-esteem for yourself. And it begins with taking little steps towards it. Like Jim Rohn said, to have an incredible increase in self-esteem, all you have to do is start doing some little some things. <laughs> You don't have to do spectacularly dramatic things for self-esteem to start growing off the skill. Just make a commitment to any easy discipline, then another one, and then another one. The ability to accept responsibility for your life is a clear sign of a healthy self-esteem. Okay, this shows up when one is decisive and does not blame other people. When you're able to take actions your own actions and know how to separate who you are from whatever you do okay people that are not interested in putting other people down too that's very important so if you learn how to accept and take responsibility for what for what you do or what you do not do and for your life you are in turn growing your self esteem okay you have the ability to take responsibility for making the right decisions and for even making the wrong decisions okay someone that knows that you don't have to play the victim card because you know that <laughs> by feeling like a victim or blaming other people that is giving away your power and that's not being responsible So the more we are able to take responsibility for our actions, the healthier we grow our self-esteem. It is important to note that people with a healthy self-esteem do not focus on the external factors that may have caused the undesired results, but rather they spend their energy thinking of ways to achieve better outcomes on the inside that they desire. They do not put themselves down for making mistakes. rather they learn from the experiences that they have and move forward from it being able to take responsibility for your life yeah it will build a healthy self esteem for you surely number 10 practice all round self care so daily briefly dig into this playlist to upgrade your self care plan you'll be glad you did you see practice and self care regularly produces good and positive feelings that build your self confidence, self love and your self esteem. So if you want to help your self esteem, you need to practice physical, emotional, social and spiritual self care as it improves your relationship with yourself and even with others. You know you are important, so you make time for yourself deliberately to do activities that greatly improve your well-being. You prioritize getting fresh air, going for walks, eating wholesome and nourishing foods, resting well, nurturing yourself, and watching healthy videos like this one. 
okay? When you invest in your self-care, you are respecting yourself and that greatly increases your self-esteem. Also, learn to incorporate laughter into your self-care activities and you can check out this playlist too to help you out. You see, there is a loving and wholesome relationship between self-care and self-esteem and it is important to note that your self-care plan doesn't have to be expensive in order for it to be effective on your self-esteem. The more you love yourself, the more you can take care of yourself and the more you can feel good about yourself. So there you have it, 10 elaborate steps to help your self-esteem. Which ones are your favorites? Feel free to share your insights in the comments with us. We'd love that. Stay plugged into this channel by subscribing for Held Your Mindset. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Thank you for watching and have a great day.